Greetings, Radiant Ones. This is Chanel Washington, founder of Indigo Fair Beauty and author of Radiant Living, How to Abide in Joy, Confidence, and Abundance. And today I'm going to share a video with you um, just discussing in the most loving way possible the 10 beauty mistakes that Black women make. Uh, and I am available and open for your engagement and discussion. Uh, my website is indigofera.com. So just get ready to make a few notes. And if there's something that uh, can help you, um, you know, imp improve yourself uh, or share it with someone else, I hope, I hope it does just that. Okay, so the first thing I found in my experience in working with clients uh, over the years, um, the first mistake is neglecting to affirm your own beauty. Uh, the words that you say are very powerful and, you know, it has to start with yourself, your skin tone, your curl pattern, your figure, your facial features are all uniquely beautiful and God did not make a mistake. So begin to affirm yourself um, and speak. I am radiantly beautiful um, and begin to really manifest that day by day. The second mistake that I uh, noticed is thinking that what you eat does not impact uh, how you feel and how you ultimately look. Okay, so um, try things like uh, the recipe I share in my book. Um, I have a chapter called Fit and Fine for Life. I have a chapter called Detox and Purification. Uh, and the things that you can do is uh, simply get a blender, make a green smoothie, put green things in it like kale, cucumber, um, you know, you can sweeten it up with some mango, um, pineapple, things like that, coconut water, and really do something good for your body every day and be conscious about the choices you're making. If you are, uh, you know, struggling with emotional eating, obesity, there's so many things available um, that will support you in a weight loss uh, regimen or program, deal with the emotional issues if that is the reason why you are um, finding yourself not being able to control what you eat, you know. So just utilize the resources that are available to you. Anything that you're challenged with, I believe that there is a solution for you if you simply make a decision to change, okay? So the third mistake is getting comfortable in a sector a sedentary lifestyle that just means not being active enough and I've been struggling with that myself you know as I get older sometimes I just don't <laughs> feel motivated to move but I have to know that my heart my lungs need to oxygenate the rest of my body you know and a, a perk for that is that you'll look better your skin will glow your hair will um, grow longer um you know, you'll be slimmer, you'll be more energetic, your body will digest better, uh, your mobility and flexibility will be, you know, improved. So there's so many benefits and we have to find ways to enjoy movement, make it fun, whether it's dance, a brisk walk, yoga, bike riding, double dutch, whatever you need to do to get moving, you know, start small but be consistent, okay? Uh, number four, not making wellness a priority is a big beauty mistake that black women make because again um we are holistic beings we are mind body and spirit and um when you are in balance when you are having wellness challenges that are unaddressed it will show up in how you look and feel so um you know look into different health modalities aromatherapies um, you can find a naturopathic doctor, uh, massage therapy. These are all things that I've tried and they've been wonderful for helping me to improve my health and wellness. Okay. And I encourage you to do the same thing. The fifth mistake is ladies, you are too often, uh, making hair care an afterthought. Okay. And it is so important to make time and a commitment to give your hair the plant-based nourishment that it needs. Your hair does not have to be dry, breaking, uh, flaking scalp, uh, thinning edges. You have a plant powerhouse, the earth's gift available to you. 
but it will not just jump on your head. You have to uh, commit to give your hair just like your body, you know, which is a part of your body, uh, what it means to be clean, to be restored, to be nourished, to be hydrated, to be moisturized, okay? Black hair is not hard to manage. I have been in this business for over a decade, and um, it is easy, but, you know, you have to reach out uh, for the right solutions, learn what works for you. Uh, this is not new. Natural hair care is not new because God created us. This is our hair in its natural state, and it's been around for as long as we have been on this planet, okay? So just think that way, and, um, you know, what, what, whatever you decide to use, whether it's Indigo Fair, I welcome you as a client, even if it's not my product line. Use what works for your hair, ladies, and spend the time and energy and commitment to giving your hair what it needs. Don't make it an afterthought uh, because it will tug on you uh, over time, okay? Uh, number six, big beauty mistake black women make is leaving in your wig, your weave, and your braids entirely too long. Uh, those are temporary adornments that we can wear. I wear them. I love rocking my wig, wearing braids, uh, doing even sewing weaves or whatever you want to do. Um, but there's a time limit, ladies. It's not to be just to cover up or, you know, so you won't have to deal with your hair. Your hair is still saying, I want to be loved. I want to be nourished. I want to be thought about. And if you forget about it, then it's going to forget about you. <laughs> so, um, you know, wear it, but wear it uh, with some common sense, okay? And the seventh mistake is looking for validation outside uh, of yourself for your own appearance. God created you, and that's all the validation you need for your skin tone, for your curl pattern. Uh, there's no such thing as, uh, you know, hair that is too kinky or nappy or whatever. God created it, so it's a way to care for it, okay? Um, be comfortable with yourself. Smile, you know, feel good. Get up and move. And validate who you are as a woman all right so I want to just give you that encouragement and the eighth thing that I see is women thinking that cheaper is better and uh, not being smart enough and savvy enough with their finances to handle your priorities so that you can invest in yourself with high quality products and services that you deserve uh, cheaper is not all it's not better in my opinion because if you just go in your bathroom uh, or on your dress or whatever, wherever you keep your cosmetics and hair care products, you will see probably a lot of things that have not worked for you um, and that are just really your money sitting there. So you think that it's cheaper, but in the long run, you're still looking for a solution um, that uh, over and over and over again. So how many times are you going to have to keep spending your money and not get what it is that you're looking for, if that's the case? I invite you to visit my website. If I can help support you, I'm happy to do that. It's indigofera.com. We are a premium plant-based beauty brand. Um, and I am I, you know, stand in that confidently because I know what I offer and the value of what I offer. So just think about, about that, whether it's your skincare, your um, trip to the esthetician, uh, how you shape your brows, um, if you want to get a sew-in, you know, all of the things that we do as black women, um, and there's nothing wrong with, again, you know, looking for something that's within your budget, but have a realistic expectation for what it is that uh, you're looking for, okay? Number nine, uh, poor communication with your hair care professionals, beauty professionals, estheticians, any kind of service provider. You have to set your expectations. Know what it is that you need. If you don't know what you need, request or work with someone who will offer you a consultation. Okay, because you want to have goals about your appearance, your beauty, your wellness. Um, what is right for you? What's important to you? What kind of environment would you like to be serviced in? Um, you know, what kind of follow-up care do you need? Uh, what credentials or special skills are you looking for? Think about that first. Ask for referrals. You know, do your research. And, um, you know, make sure that you're communicating and that you uh, 
find a professional who has the ability to communicate right back to you, okay? Don't make that mistake of just accepting anything. You are worth more than that, all right? Number 10, a mistake that I see uh, Black women making that is impacting their beauty um, because your beauty definitely radiates from the inside out is underutilizing the tools and resources available when it comes to your personal development. Um, don't just stay stuck where you are. If it's something that you want to change and shift in your life, create a new reality, um, make a commitment to do that. And I invite you again, go to my website, get my book, Radiant Living, How to Abide, Enjoy, Confidence, and Abundance. I cover a wealth of um, tools and strategies in this book. It's very practical. Uh, at the same time, it has Radiant Reflections, life coaching questions for yourself, a recommended reading plan. Uh, there's affirmations throughout the book and um, a 12-month plan that will help you create uh, your own radiant life. So if you need to reach out to me, I'm here to serve you. Again, my name is Chanel Washington. I'm founder of Indigo Farrah Beauty and author of Radiant Living. My website is indigofarrah.com and you can reach me at clientcare at indigofarrah.com um, uh, for my email. And um, I'm across social media. I look forward to your engagement in this video. Please share it. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any more mistakes that you think we need to raise our consciousness about, remind ourselves of, uh, please post it below. And um, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Be radiantly beautiful.